In Action Network, you can use our tags to attach characteristics to your activists. These tags can then be used to segment your list along the lines of what actions they've taken, what interests they have, what role they play in your organization, or any other number of attributes that you assign to them. To create tags, go to the Start Organizing menu and select Tags. Then, select which list you're working on. You'll see that only groups show up in this list. Tags can only be used in groups, not for individual accounts. Click the blue button to create a new tag, and then just type in the name of your tag. Let's say we want to identify people as group leaders. Then click the Create Tag button. Tags will now show up here in a list, and you can use the red Delete button to remove any tag that you created mistakenly or one that's no longer useful. When you delete a tag though, remember that it will remove that tag from any activist to which it was previously assigned. If you have your groups in a network, using our networks feature for partners, you will see a blue button next to each tag that says send to children. This allows you to send your tag down to any child groups in your network. This will show up in their tags list the next time that they access it, and the child groups in your network will be able to assign that tag to your activists. The data will then flow up to your parent group so that anyone who took action on a petition, for instance, that your child group published with this tag will also have that tag in your parent group's database. Once you've created a tag, you can apply it to activists in your system. Tags get attached to activists in three ways, by adding a tag to an action, by adding the tag to a list you upload, or by manually adding the tag to an individual supporter record. First, let's talk about adding tags to actions. Anytime you create an action, whether that's a petition, event, form, letter campaign, or fundraiser, you're given an action management page. Let's access one such page from my group's action list. I'll go back to my dashboard, click to manage my group, and click on the Actions tab. Now I can see all the actions my group has created. Let's use this form as an example here. We'll just click the Edit button. This is the action management page for this form that I created. You'll see here under the header that there's a button that says Edit Tags. Click the Edit Tags button, and then you can click here to select any tags that you've previously created. Now I can add that group leaders tag to this form, hit save tags, and now anytime somebody fills out this form, they'll have the group leaders tag attached to them. Our second option for adding tags is to do so when uploading a list. So let's go to the uploads page to look at this. We'll go to the start organizing menu and click to upload activists. When we go to add a new upload, You'll see this option here, click to select tags. Select the tags that you want from the drop-down list. You can add as many tags as you'd like. And now, when you do your upload, all of these tags will be attached to every person on that list. To learn more about uploading a list, please watch the Uploads video tutorial. Uploads are a feature that's only available to our partners, so if you're interested in learning more, please go to actionnetwork.org slash partnerships. The last way to add tags is to access an activist's individual record using our search and add activists feature, and you can then edit the tags on their record. This is covered in depth in our search and add activists video tutorial. Once tags have been added to your activists, the tags will be among your targeting options when creating emails and reports. To learn more about using tags or about any of our other features, please visit help.actionnetwork.org.